Hi, I'm John Celestri, Editorial Advisor to Globestreet.com, and I want to welcome you to SIOR Live here in Nashville. And I'm really happy to have as my guest Scott Savakul. Scott's a Senior Associate in the Office Division of Sansone Group in St. Louis, but he's also the uh, incoming president, the 2015 president of Corfac. Scott, thanks for coming by. John, thanks for having me. Congratulations on your coup. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, let's talk for a bit about what you see your role and your plans are as president of the group. Sure. You know, we're always looking for ways to enhance the value proposition to our members mm -hmm. and their clients. Uh, one of the ways that we look to do that is by growing our footprint both domestically and internationally. Uh, the more coverage we have, the more services that we can offer right. both for our members and for their clients and the stronger platform we have for us all to operate under. Mm -hmm. How do you relate what you see as, as your mission as president to the uh, needs, the, the, the uh, expressed needs? of your membership. And I ask you that because we had a, a large conversation before with the senior executives of SIOR and a strategic plan that they have come up with and are now developing, I should say, uh, to maintain their relevancy. How is Corfac doing that? Absolutely. You know, well, we as an organization have a strategic plan as well. Uh, but, you know, as a group, Corfac is an alliance of entrepreneurial real estate firms, you know, around the globe. So we're very nimble and can react to what's going on around us so that we can adjust accordingly. Right. Um, it's a very collaborative effort. So as president, I almost see myself as more of a facilitator. Uh -huh. uh, and it's my job to draw in interaction from the various committees and leadership groups within the organization to gather the necessary feedback from our members, find out what they're looking for, and then find different initiatives and ways to disseminate that throughout the organization so that we can accomplish those goals. Very interesting. Uh, also had a conversation with Angela West before the, the new president about you know, the tricky you know, situation of, of work-life balance. My own theory is that it's a myth, that you really can't. Something always suffers. So you have your family, you have your job, and now you have this other massive undertaking that's just ramped up the uh, pressure all the way around. So how do you balance? Well, you know, that, that's a never-ending challenge. Uh, but in today's environment of modern technology, you know, we're always connected in one way or another. Mm -hmm. So you can take breaks here and there when you need to be home for dinner or at a child's sporting event or at a board meeting. Um, and then re-engage at a later time, you can always find a way to get connected via text, via email, via social media. Uh, there's so many avenues to stay connected that you can find time to balance it so that you can be in more than one place at one time. So you're going to be the guy in the bleachers at the soccer game with the cell phone? Exactly. Okay, got it. <laughs> when I have to be. <laughs> when a deal's on the line, a deal's on the line. I hear you. Business first. Uh, so your, your presidency is over. You've ended your reign of terror. Uh, what do you want for your membership to be the key takeaway from what you did uh, in service of them? You know, that's a great question. Uh, a couple things. I think, you know, people talk about staying relevant mm. uh, and staying in tune with what's going on around you. Um, that's something I definitely want to not only stay relevant, but become more relevant. You know, it's an ever-changing environment in terms of commercial real estate firms yeah. and associations and affiliations now. I want to keep us at the forefront of that. You know, some of the initiatives we're looking at as a group, obviously staying up with technology, uh, different enhancements to our websites, our social media, uh, things of that nature, but also to making sure that there's people behind us. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a strong push for what we call our next generation where we're bringing in younger brokers, getting them more involved, not only in their personal business, their firms back home, but also Corfac as an organization, so that we've got strong leaders coming up behind us. Mm -hmm. So that you know, once I do step out of that role, I know there are other people that are engaged behind me right. that are gonna be able to fill my shoes and other shoes for, for many years to come. And that's one of the tricky things I find about president, pres association presidencies in that you're there for a year and then the things that you may have put in place have the potential, the threat, to just disappear. So that, that continuity of management and leadership is also absolutely key. Definitely. Um, you know, and as a group, we stay very involved in, in various committees and, and groups. Uh, for instance, we have a past president's council. Mm -hmm. 
of former leaders that stay involved so that just what you mentioned doesn't happen. Right. When I roll out at the end of next year, I will move on to the past president's council and I will stay involved in helping guide the new leadership right. with at least my you know, lessons that I've learned during my time mm -hmm. to help guide them and help make sure that they know a, a good path to follow and they at least have me as a resource to tap into as they're trying to make the strategic decisions going down the road. Sounds like a wise path and my, my best wishes for you for you know, a successful presidency. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. You bet. Thank best you for having me. And I want to thank you for joining us on Globe Street TV.